Hi guys, welcome back to the Make It Simple YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you step by step how to edit granular velocity in the CapCut app like the trend on TikTok, and of course, I will also share the video template for you for free. But before that, I hope you subscribe to this channel first and then click the bell button so that you get a notification every time there is a new video from me. Okay, the first step, create a new project in the CapCut app. Then add your video. Next, add a music to the project as well. For the music that I use, you can get it in the comments. Split your video right on this part of the music. So, the first video clip is 3.6 seconds long. After that, open the effects menu, tap video effects, tap the basic category, then find and select an effect called noise, And I want to set the noise to 30. Set the length according to the length of the first video clip. Still in the basic category. Find and add another effect called to color. Then set the speed to 45. And also extend the duration of the effect like the first. For the second video clip, open the filters menu. Tap the black and white category. Select the fade effect and set it to 90. Now, let's create a velocity or slow motion effect for the second video clip. Open the speed menu, tap the normal option, then change the speed to 0.2 times slower. By slowing down, of course the duration of the video will also increase. So, trim the duration of your video according to the duration of the song. You can see that the slow motion is still broken. So let's smooth it out. To do this, return to the speed menu. Tap this make it smoother button. Select better quality. Apply. Then wait a few moments. Finished. And now, let's take a look at the final result. The final step. Save your video. By the way, if you don't want to bother making trending granular velocity videos manually, you can use the granular velocity cap cut template, which I provide the link to in the comments below. And okay guys, those are the steps for editing trending granular velocity videos in CapCut, as well as video presets that you can use if you feel you don't have time to edit. So, I hope this video is useful. 
see you in the other upcoming CapCut video tutorials, and thanks for watching.